Hey everyone, it's Jack with Average Consumer, where we answer two questions. Is it worth your time and is it worth your money? And we really stick to those two questions. And this week we kind of go into the archives a bit and uh, pull out a set of headphones that I've had for many, many years. To the point where I didn't even know if Monoprice still sold them until today. So I went on their site and sure enough, for uh, $16.99... They sell the 8323 DJ style headphones. And uh, they came out of the drawer because my son broke his headphones and we had to find a solution. And this is where we landed because uh, these things uh, are built like a tank. And that's where we're going to start is build, uh, build quality. Um, so first of all, like I said, uh, they have been sitting in drawers, backpacks, rolling on the floors of cars. We've even used these things as uh, ear protection when we're mowing the lawn. In fact, we, that's why the cable is sometimes not on these because uh, that's what they're used for because it's cheaper than getting a set of, of ear protection otherwise and then they do the job for what we need it to do and that's what was available. So... Um, not saying that that's what they they're good enough for, but that's what we have used them for. Uh, staying on build quality, that's also one of the big problems with these headphones is build quality. Now we're going to start off with the ear pads. I have changed these ear pads three times over now. Um, the the original set I don't have anymore. In fact, I probably tossed them because they were such crap. Um, but they were very similar to these, very thin, and uh, in fact, when you get them, um, I would even classify them as on-ear headphones, not over-the-ear headphones, uh, like they're advertised, because these uh, ear pads are so shallow that your ears easily touch the driver or the casing inside those headphones, and they frankly are almost unusable. Um, so keep that in mind. Very, very uncomfortable. And these improved things. These were the first set of replacement pads I had for these headphones. And uh, that they di it did help. Um, the other thing is, is uh, you get what you pay for. So there is a lot of creaking and crackling and, and things with these headphones. Uh, so they're not, they're not the best build quality when it comes to... Um, that and comfort and and uh, there's this weird uh, look at how it, when you stretch it out it doesn't even maintain that curve it's it's just it's strange that being said um, they do offer I just bought these off of mono price as well uh, a new set of replacement ear pads that are much better than these um, they call these uh, memory foam um, although they're, they're pretty pretty, um, I don't know if I'd call them that. They, they're they very pillowy, but uh, I didn't, they don't really hold any kind of memory. Um, however, the can cup is much larger, and uh, it's a lot deeper, so um, my ears don't touch the driver with these. Um, and it just makes them a lot more comfortable. Otherwise, um, these... Uh, right out of the box I wouldn't recommend even at sixteen dollars they're just really really uncomfortable um, and then let's face fact here most people are buying headphones in this price range because they're trying to find something cheap and durable for their kids and um, based on the looks of these things kids are just not going to be interested uh, you know, they're looking for something that looks like Beats, if not Beats. Um, as a parent, I am looking for something cheap, durable, and and frankly, I have a kind of a thing. I, I kind of want it to sound good, even though they don't really care about that type of thing. But that it's important to me. So I want to get them something of somewhat quality. Um, with that, um, I don't know if that's really going to be the case here, because, I mean, look at them. I mean, they're just utility-based headphones. This uh, thing up top here, they claim this is memory foam as well, and, and it does retain. Uh, you can see how slow that moves. I'd say that's memory foam. 
Um, but I, I wouldn't know if, say, this, this is the most comfortable thing in the world, but it's better than not having any padding up there at all. Um, so for fit and finish, got to keep in mind, these are $16. This is where things start to go downhill, the hill though, because they're not just $16. To make these, frankly, in my opinion, to make these usable and to make them comfortable, um, you have to replace the ear pads. Right now, these were on sale for like $9.00. Otherwise, they're another $15 to $16, which is almost the cost of the headphones. So now your $17 set of headphones becomes $30 in no time. Plus, you got to replace the cable. The cable that comes with these things, you get two. Uh, when I bought them, there was two of them. One was really long. I want to say it was like 10 feet long. Janky as heck. You couldn't keep that thing straight to save your life. Just a tangled mess. Uh, that thing, I threw that thing away. That was a piece of junk. And then I, then there was another spaghetti thin one that uh, was worth worthless as well. Uh, who knows where that is? Um, so between the headphones, the ear pads, and the and the, and a cable, a replacement cable, you know, you're you're spending thirty five, forty dollars for these when it's all said and done, and and with the promise that you're getting a good quality, cheap pair of headphones at seventeen. Those cards are on the table now, so um, keep that in mind. In fact, I want to, some, this is going to be conspiracy or something, but I almost think that maybe Monoprice designed these knowing that they were going to sell a bunch of ear pads and cables and everything else just for people to somewhat enjoy these. Um, let's go to sound quality. Um, and uh, this is probably where I'm going to disagree with some people. And I am going to admit that when I first got these headphones six to eight years ago, I mean, it's been a long time, um, I was really pleasantly surprised by these. Uh, at that time, I didn't really have a ton of experience with anything else that would have a decent sound quality. Uh, so when I got these, I mean, compared to what I had, uh, this was definitely a step up. And I'm going to say that's probably going to be the case for most people and most kids. They're coming from AirPods and whatever was free with their with their cheap phone or, or what have you. So uh, they're probably going to sound better than what they're coming from. Um, where they excel in is the bass. They they I wouldn't I don't know if I'd go as far as calling them for bass heads, but they do have decent bass, and I think they would fit that bill. Um, my kids primarily use these not for music. They're watching maybe some TV on Netflix or, or what have you on their phone, and they're playing video games on their phone or, or iPad while we're heading somewhere. So for that type of use, the, they work out well. Mids are still pretty good. That Mids are typically where you're going to find your vocals. I'd say they probably favor male vocals a little bit better. Um because of the the lower end, you know, with the bass and stuff. Now, I'm, I'm not going to say that the bass and the mids are, like, perfect, but they, they, they serve its purpose, especially at this price point. Pretty good. Um, where they do lack is treble. In fact, that's, I almost would want to call the treble cheap sounding or really, it's almost, it's almost gone. So, you're not buying these for analytical listening anyway. Um, but that's typically where people find the find the detail is 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 in the treble and the highs. So you're definitely not getting that with these. Um, so where are we when we ask those two questions? Is it worth your time and is it worth your money? Um, I'm going to say no to both. And here's why. Um, when you take into account, if they were only $17 and they, they fit the bill, they had the nicer pads and they had the, a, a decent cable, I'd probably say, yeah, they're worth $17. And maybe they're worth $17, um, 
well, and then some, if you're just using them for ear protection or something like we, like we, we've been doing, um, but that's not what they're built for. And that's probably something I, you can't really recommend because they, um, so knowing that you have to replace the pads and replace the cable and they're uncomfortable and you know, this, that, and the other thing, you know, those $17 set of headphones easily become $40. And at $40, uh, you know, I wish I could give you some high recommendations on a closed back set of headphones that would meet that bill. Um, because I think that's what you're competing against. These $17 set of headphones would be awesome for $17. But when you're doing $40, $50, I think there has to be a better choice out there. Um, in fact, I would probably look at, you know, I, I'm becoming a fan of cost. Some some of the cost, Tascam has some cheap headphones. Um, Superlux, you know, um, there's a variety of other options. And in the end, let's face fact, we're probably buying these for kids. They're not going to like these. They want something that looks like Beats or something cool. Um you got a black headphone with mono price printed on the side, and that just isn't going to fit the bill. So, where's their time worth your money? No and no. Probably can find something better and use that money somewhere else. Thanks. Really appreciate your time tonight. If uh, you found any value in this, please like and subscribe. And if you disagree, leave a comment. Love to hear it. You might even be able to change my mind. We'll catch you next time.